The universe was created as one. It ends and begins constantly. It follows nine definite steps in the cycle before it begins again. And this cycle happens 100 times before the entire universe disappears. Boundaries were set between animals, man, warrior and god dimensions. The consequence of chaos in stage nine acts as a catalyst in creating stage one, beginning the next cycle. Therefore, right now, we are in the beginning of the end. The modern world in stage nine made men and women seek boundaries. They made borders to divide money, land, identities, ideas, families, tribes, beliefs of all sorts constantly searching for the edges of the boundaries of what their type of human is through constantly defining themselves. They wanted to be safe, so they always found ways to box themselves in. Then they became herdable, like sheep, so a box did not seem so bad. Humans believed they evolved from a single-cell bacterium. In this sense, they felt they had more time. Billions of years, in fact, to evolve. Earth was born with a sense of sun and nine planets surrounding it. Seven god planets and two demon planets. These planets are represented by nine gems found in the Earth's dust, Navaratinam, named in the first and oldest surviving language called Tamil. Ruby, pearl, coral, Emerald, yellow sapphire, diamond, blue sapphire, hessonite, and cat's eye. Towards the end, these resources were considered common, and the water and air began to be considered precious. God. There was only one God. A single, omniscient, omnipresent, almighty God. And God created a God army who all work together across many dimensions to make sure the universe functions with some order and balance. Culture on earth was born as a language to express God, to be seen, heard, felt, reflect times, nature, experiences that had inspired the five senses. The energy created from thoughts and prayer consciousness and beliefs in God kept God's alive. God is one. It's an odd number and it can't be divided. It had no organs, no sexuality, no skin preference. This odd number is deliberate to make dividing difficult as divisions would result in two parts. If interpreted wrong, this could create opposition. Stage two of the universal law opened the door to this possibility. God said love yourself like God. Stage two was about having something to love. He made Shiva and Shiva is nothing without his power, his wife Parvati. Brahma was nothing without Saraswati. Abraham without Sarah. The second stage is the output of God. It was creation itself. The universe is an ability to exist as one giant organism, as a piece of God, an extension. Now this extension is met with extinction. Gods govern the energy field of Earth using five elements. The air, the water, Earth, fire, Akash, sound. What God created is now under attack. Life on Earth and Earth itself and the fight for the 50% of the universe. The demons. They obsessed over the use of numbers because the universe created by God was coded by numbers. 
They were into collecting and resetting numbers. How many gods fallen? How many people died? How many likes? How many followers? And the invention of money began with good intentions and soon became manipulated by demons to capture more and more and more believers. Demons wanted to divide the world to win 50% of the divine universe. Mathematically seen like a pie sliced in half, this created a division amongst the demons. Parties who supported total destruction of gods, the Cains, and the party that was in support of a two-state universal solution split 50-50 called the Arakanes. There was a major disagreement amongst God with this plan. However, the disappearance of the boundaries had confused arguments and slowed down the debate. Everything was dragging on. It was time for another referendum, another talk, another gathering, another summit. God slowly formed two groups, the Suras and the Asuras. The Asuras believed that equality was the answer to any type of balance. Suras believed in total annihilation of the darkness. The Asuras and the Suras never came to a conclusion. However, a solution was needed and they wanted to avoid war. Transparency. Within each category of God, beast, man or warrior, there were rungs you can work through like a coded scale. You can say there was a gradient spectrum from God to man and man to beast. This is the moment the dials broke, the walls vanished, and what's beyond the unseeable floor and ceiling became transparent. The work of prophets, sages, swamis, siddhas, spirits, deities, ghosts, banshees, jinns, witches, angels, wizards, nagas, sirens, unicorns and all sentience remained on different planes but assisted in the process of mediating between the four groups. They were beings with different insight because they used 7th, 8th and ninth senses. Now even they were confused. It was a multi-dimensional universal level of social media with all beings logged on and no one's profile was private. Privacy. Throughout the eight stages, Keynes, working together, had acquired better means to study humans. Stage eight, during the period of Kali Yuga, had brought material gain and an abundance of wealth, easy to access hedonism, and choices which trapped many humans into submission in the pursuit of this new found happiness. The Canes, they set up a research center to understand humans. They didn't destroy the concept of love. Over time, they simply tricked the humans by making them love the wrong things. Humans who loved each other and God soon began to love objects and material goods and their egos and their insecurities. In these times, the Keynes finally pushed Agenda 2020 for total control of mankind. The Cain party of demons began to use this research to study what made humans love, which was God's biggest weapon. The grid versus the net. The NSA national security was dismantled after nine years of being set up because the human race was willingly documenting and logging, submitting all information about themselves to corporations. The Canes no longer needed to fund governments to spy. The 99.99% in stage nine wanted to be watched all the time. In fact, Men and women went into depression and anxiety when the NSA was dismantled because of the lack of attention. The 99% of the population on earth lived on 1% of the world's economy in stage 9 and the 1% lived on the 99% of wealth. <laughs>